they become 12 again. There are some of the world's most famous professional dancers battling it out to win the Strictly Come Dancing crowd. Got my goal set to hold that glitter ball trophy. Who knows what will happen? Standing between them and the Strictly title are weeks of hard graft and the fearsome Strictly judges. Yeah! Top line, I thought, was hideously rigid. Good effort, but not good result. They are kings and queens of the dance floor now, but back when they were kids, they were only starting out on the road to dancing superstardom. So let's waltz back in time and find out what our dancing divas were like when they were 12. I'd say I was a very good 12-year-old. I was a bit of a, a saint, I think. When I was 12 years old, I used to get embarrassed very easy and go very red. When I was 12, I had longish hair because that was fashionable in 1977. I had very long black eyelashes and I was teased at school because everyone thought I wore mascara and I didn't. I was quite fiery and um, quite, I would say, outgoing then. Um, I think I'm uh, mellowed a bit more and I'm a bit more shy now. The one thing I always remember about being 12 is having loads of fake tan on my face every Monday when I went to school after a competition. Well, I was always at the forefront of fashion. <laughs> it was, you know, the kind of late 60s, you know, so it, it, uh, it was very colorful fashion. I had kind of boofy hair and kind of big, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> occasionally, I, I got, um, I looked like a girl. I used to overdo the eyeliner. It was sort of that experimental stage. And, I mean, I look back now and I know it was far too much, but back then, when I was 12, I thought it was cool. I had really long curly hair and I was really skinny and um, I had bold legged legs and my brother used to always tease me and call me chicken legs. So that's what our Strictly celebs looked like when they were 12, but how was school for them when they had buffy hair, overdone eyeliner and were plastered with fake tan? Because I was quite successful as a dancer as a child, my peers and schoolmates were really, really proud of what I did, and I was always in the paper and bringing my trophies into school. I was very lucky I never got anybody to take the mickey for being a ballroom dancer, because back then, a ballroom dancer was quite daggy. I went through a very, very sporty high school, and if you were very sporty, you got to wear the grey jumper instead of the dark blue one. And the grey one was everyone who was cool wore the grey ones. So I did. I was in the netball team, right, okay. the soccer team, which you guys call football. We do, yeah. Uh, the gymnastics team, oh. the basketball team, Get out. the trampolining team, mm -hmm. the rhythmical gymnastics team, the Anything swimming you want on? team. I did them all oh. because I sort of wanted this grey jumper. Ladies and gentlemen, now you have it, the tail of the grey jumper. Sadly, not everyone had such a great time at school. And for some of our Strictly celebs, it could be pretty lonely. I just hated school. I don't think too many people want to be friends with the boring dancer. <laughs> uh, it's very sad. I don't think someone that goes boring and Latin dancing in, in my day was ever going to be one of the cool kids, because it wasn't looked upon as a cool thing to do in those days. So girls weren't really that interested in me at school. Brendan didn't suffer from shyness with the girls quite like James did. My first kiss, yeah, I remember that. A couple of girls at school, I remember. One's name was Belinda on school camp. There were two of them. <laughs> it was great. Not at the same time. <laughs> One was named Michelle and at the start of the camp. She, we didn't get on that well at the end of the camp. Yeah, it was Belinda, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up, Romeo. So, was there one moment in their school days when our Strictly stars realised that their destiny was to dance? All the guys at my school, at Granville Boys High School, were learning to dance, like, in the playground. Had me a blast. There was films, like Grease, of course, had just come out. And it was cool for boys to, you know, be getting in there, giving it a groove. Everyone was learning all the John Travolta moves. And that's really why I fell in love with dance, I suppose. When I was 12, I was a serious swimmer. And my best stroke was breaststroke. And um, I used to enjoy that a lot more than dancing. 
and um, I did ballroom dancing and Latin dancing. Um, and I used to enjoy it, but it was just as a hobby. I wanted to be a builder. I didn't really think about dancing as a career. It was just something I did along with everything else I did. There was a couple of competitions which were shown on TV. And I said to my mum, I want to do that. I want to dance like that. And then eventually I got my mum to sign me up to like a dance classes. And that's how I started. I used to come home and practice a lot at home. And I used to have slippers, which I used to dance in. And my mum said they were so worn out because I was just dancing all the time at home. I've always loved to dance, but there was a turning point, and it actually was when I was 12 years old, and I did my first open competition, and I won everything. And that was the moment where I said to myself, you're going to make a career out of this. So that's what our dancing divas were up to when they were 12, but what tunes were they jiving along to? I was a...